welcome to Leisurely Logan. So this week's topic is invasive species, both of Whistle Thicket and City Stead talked about invasive species. Whistle Thicket was doing the Sunchoke um, or Jerusalem artichoke, uh, which is like a potato, grows all over the place if it gets out of hand. And uh, City Stead was some sort of some sort of bush. Um, so what I have beyond the mimosa, I have like tons of mimosa. Complained about that before, but um, I have another invasive species in my yard, and it is Oregon grape. So I have one here. One back there, a couple here, and then some over here. Now it's called the Oregon grape because it makes uh, these grape looking fruit out of them. And this happens in spring and they bunch up into this onto these things right here so either they didn't form this year on this plant or the birds came and ate them all i'm not sure i haven't looked over here uh, at these but maybe next spring i'll have to take a look at them it looks like a bunch of grapes together and apparently well the, the grapes themselves are i guess they're kind of tart so they're not not the people's favorite, but I guess you can have some jelly or something. But from what I read is that the root of the plant is good for intestinal and other issues. So you can eat the grapes or the berries, they're not really grapes, and you can use the use the roots. And uh, it was a couple of years ago, I have one in the way back in the jungle area. Now it's the first time I noticed one because it, uh, you would, I saw the berries on that one. And for another thing that uh, um, I was talk, commenting with uh, City Stead with was that these grow in the shade, a very shaded area of my yard. On to the rest of the garden. Okay, back in the back micro garden, flower garden, which is no longer flowers. Um, back that way somewhere is the other Oregon grape that I have. It's like in this bunch of vines of stuff that I really don't like. Speaking of real grapes, this guy's still hanging in there. So are the regular grapes. The heat's getting to them. It's been hot the last few days. Corn. I guess I'm just going to end up with some mini corn. It's not going to grow any hot, taller, it seems. Starting to get tassels on this stuff. I would expect it to be taller, but this is heritage, you know, corn, so I guess not. Indian corn. All right, over here in the grilling deck. Roses up there looking good. Down here looks spindly. Okay, maybe I need to cut off some. These ones as other new shoots grow. Like I said, it's been hot a couple days and it basically fried the beans in here. I wasn't checking them and they got fried. Then move the strawberries. Strawberries too. Same reason. It gets hot over here. Right, over here in the side micro garden. Got a cucumber around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It's kind of 
ball shape. So weird looking cucumber coming out of this this one. Over here. Tomato's actually looking pretty good in this box. And got vines coming off these, so I don't know what's going on here. I thought this was a cucumber and that one was the squash, but I guess maybe they're both cucumbers. Who knows? Anyways, let's look down in here. I don't know if you can, if you can see that. So a few um, videos ago, I pointed it out. And what that is, is I bought a box of, of potatoes and I didn't plant them. And so they sat for over a year. And so when I was throwing the the core, the coconut core in here, I also took those old potatoes and I threw them in there too. And <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I'll just throw them there. And apparently one of them decided to rehydrate itself because they were all dried out and created a potato plant, which is very interesting. Uh, need to come in here and lop these off, tops off. I gotta get around to doing that. Um, just, uh, and I gotta get the weeds out of here. It's just everywhere. I mean, this, this, this weed, I mean, talk about annoying invasive, this vine, it's just wrapping itself around all my raspberry bushes. And it, so I moved the strawberry box over here. Get it out of the sun. Because it just doesn't hold water when it gets all heat all hot. And we've had we've had a couple of storms uh, in the last couple of days. But just too hot over there in that, that spot. Alright. In the front micro garden. Next set of lilies are blooming. Guess these will bloom too soon. Now a few few weeks ago I also pointed out that I took a rose bush from back over there somewhere that, I, that I'd noticed before and I dug it up, put it in some pots, and I finally stuck them in here. And I thought, eh, in my head I was like, I probably killed them. But nope. It's got new growth on that. And so does that one. So I, that was one ro rose bush that I accidentally chopped in two. And now, what, now they're doing good. As you can see, I came in and weeded out all the weeds, which is mostly mimosa and grass. Very annoying. You can see how they're wilting. All my plants are wilting. not bug but so those are all wilting which is because of the heat and part of my issue is this faucet here I can't leave it on and just do the do the squirt thing because it's got a leak so you gotta somehow get that faucet replaced But inside here, I don't know when I'm supposed to pick these things, because they're not very big. So not only is something I didn't want to plant, it's, I mean, that one looks like it's done, because it's white, all white. Um, put the uh, cucumbers up here. He's went in and grabbed hold. I got a big old cucumber sitting right there. So I'll hopefully be good for those ones there. But I just got to remember to water these every night because of because of the heat. But um, they kind of they kind of come back after the sun cools down and goes down. But yeah, that's not a 
Not a good sign of all that wilting and stuff. It gets really hot up here. Well, that's it. Thanks for doing this.